Hey people, welcome back. Second video, back to back. I'm planning to upload these, the Theory Mugle Alien Absolute and this review together and I'll be going to sleep, right? Why did it feel like doing it? Because I've been sick, so I needed some motivation and stuff. And um, like, I'm motivated, you know, I'm feeling much better, but still sick, still recovering, but here's the second video for you. So I'll be doing a sample review first of all. May not turn out to be the longest video, Thanks, thankfully for you guys. But this is a sample of uh, Mercedes-Benz fragrance. It's called, simply called Mercedes-Benz Men, okay? So you guys know I have a series of these fragrances, okay? This line, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum, and Intense. So I reviewed that. This is a different series. They have that kind of like a car alarm, kind of car, car key sort of with those bottles. I put the picture in front. I'll make sure you can get to see the bottle. So these fragrances are like everywhere so i got a sample i said why not let's review it so people get some idea so i believe not many reviews on this right so if i have a sample i always feel like let's do a review so i have spread this on the paper uh test strip and uh here's the sample it looks like this official sample from mercedes-benz and i have one more which i plan to do in time i don't know where i kept it nice little sample here from uh damn where are you where are you okay can find it when you need it. Anyway, I have another fragrance. Yeah, it's here. Sorry, I showed you Mercedes Benz Club. I think this is this bottle. It's a this shape bottle. This one I'll reviews in time. This one has also a few other bottles. I mean, in this line, but I'll talk about this one. I've been testing the other sample. I have two samples, so I'll review this in time. So yeah, uh, plenty of Mercedes Benz fragrances, right? So basically, nothing to look here. It looks like a small little sample. It doesn't look like the real bottle. It looks like blue. Looks nice. It's the name is at the side. Pretty nice touch for the presentation. So these fragrances are retail really, really expensive. I mean, I, I, I know retails are going on at $75 in Bangladesh, so I wouldn't be able to pay the prices for that. I will be able to, but I don't wanna, because <laughs> Mercedes-Benz, these juice right here, let me tell you, okay? So first of all, let me tell you, let me cut to the chase what this fragrance is all about. This fragrance is uh, pretty much a clone of Abercrombie & Fitch, Fierce. And more than fears, what this is close to is what I already own, Mont Blanc Legend. So yeah, uh, I'll pretty much compare it with it because, you know, nothing much, it's nothing new here. The DNA here is, when you spray it for the first time, let's spray it for the first, uh, once again, just to get the top note, okay? Let's give it some time. When you spray it for the first time, you get a bit of like a synthetic sort of opening with a little bit of alcohol blast. I don't blame it with some Mercedes-Benz earlier kind of fragrances. Nothing out of the, you know, ordinary. Okay, so immediately after 10 or 50 seconds pass, you can definitely detect. What happened with me when I tried the tester of it, I was like, I know this DNA, it smells very family. I couldn't, you know, sometimes you sniffed like thousand plus fragrances and you'd be like, uh, already, you know, like, because you cannot remember sometimes when you smell it on so like your familiar fragrance, you smell it on other people, you cannot tell immediately, but you know the fragrance smell. I happened with me, Chanel Elirom Sport. I smell this one of my brothers and I'm like, uh, you smell so nice and you smell so familiar. What are you wearing? He's like, guess. I took 15 minutes. I couldn't guess it was Chanel. So this fragrance, I knew I couldn't remember it on the spot when I came home. Like, ah, I didn't look at fragrantic, of course not. So what I get from it is Mont Blanc legend basically. And, uh, if you find it at discounters, you'll probably find $30, $35 or so for 100 ml bottle, nice looking bottle. Very beautiful, see-through in the center. It's like a Mercedes logo. It's like car, uh, alarm, car key sort of. Nice bottle, but the smell here, I do love. I, I, I don't wanna lie to you. I'm not gonna say this is ordinary, so I don't like it. This is one of my workhorse. Like if you know Mont Blanc Legend, I have Mont Blanc Legend Intense as well, which I love. Okay, I dropped the paper, anyway. So I own both of these and I also happen to own Mont Blanc Legend Spirit somewhere. Where is my bottle? Um, don't, know. don't know where I keep my bottles, but I have Mont Blanc Legend Spirit somewhere. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, I'm still looking for it. Yeah. It's painful if you cannot find something. I have the Legend Spirit as well. I love this stuff. It's a compliment beast. And uh, if you know this one, this is actually the originator of all that. So basically they created Mont Blanc, it's kind of relatively cheaper. Even if you buy uh, retail, they are cheaper, you know, like 35 to 40 dollars, you can score a 100 ml bottle of it at discounters. So this one, I got 200 ml of it. So this one, when I just go out casually every day, 
just I need to like when wearing jeans and t-shirts something I just spray a few times six seven times casually no problem this fragrance it's it's not that expensive that make me feel guilty like oh Crete ah no <laughs> so Mamla and Legend is such a fragrance it's like a dumb rich you read you reach for it you wear it you go no worries this is easily very common DNA everybody loves it knows this like Dior Sauvage they know they know Aventus Club de Nuit Man, they know this one like uh, Mont Blanc Legend so if you like Mont Blanc Legend you can give it a try at this fragrance I wouldn't say you are gaining anything different or it's there's a twist to it there's something special in the Mercedes apart from the bottle is prettier than the Mont Blanc Mont Blanc bottles are pretty much kind of on your uh, generic bottles this one you get like nice bottle and for the car company you know it's not a bad attempt they do a lot of clones it's okay but I think it's kind of redundant if you already have Mont Blanc Legend if you have edition one by Armaf if you have Fierce Fierce is the best but if you know Fierce if you like Fierce I always highly recommend Platinum Egoist from Chanel this is the big daddy of all these fragrances right so basically a bit different difficult diffy 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 different kind of a uh, review but it's nothing out of ordinary it's pretty much a 5 out of 10 right in the middle for me uh, performance on this is okay but I think Mont Blanc Legend will last much much longer you're gonna get like okay 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 smell okay performance from each of these fragrances like this one especially uh, the Mercedes Benz man but if you if you if you kind of think the bottle is kind of cool you like the brand you can pick it up right for me it's a 5 out of 10 <laughs> so I'm never gonna buy the full bottle of it for all those obvious reasons that's a review for Mercedes Benz man uh, check it out there's nothing wrong with check out checking something out it might work with you and I think I would wear this fragrance if I have to pick up time. Summer, everyday, gym, casual, you know, casual fragrance. So, <laughs> take care guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm just glad it's not longer than 10 minutes. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.